look at the car, it's laser straight. I mean, you put a light down it, it's just completely straight. You're just looking into a mirror and the paint job definitely adds, you know, completes the look. They go hand in hand. If it wasn't straight, the paint wouldn't look good. So yeah, no, I'm, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think it looks amazing. Carl has me spread out a series of cards. He'll pick, um, like he said, he wanted red. So I sprayed out seven different reds and mostly we stick with GM colors. So we did the original year color for this red. We did torch red, we did redline red, Corvette red, a bunch of different reds that were all in the same category. And we have Carl pick which one he wanted. Um, and he came up, this is torch red on this car. It's one of his favorite colors. Um, it's, a, it's a Corvette color, GM color. Um, we started off with, it's uh, all PPG base. It's house color Claire. There's five to six coats of Claire. Um, we sand and buff this thing very hard to get it very flat. So um, it takes a lot of material to, to do that. Everybody's different in how they want their cars done. And, and Carl's, you know, he's got his list of things that he, he looks for. So he likes his gaps, you know, pretty tight and close. Um, and on the older cars, it's, it's a little harder to get them close. It takes a lot more metalwork finesse than you would think. They're not like the new cars where you got a little eight, eighth inch gap, you know. But uh, gaps and just making sure all the panels and everything are flush and even and just having that symmetrical, perfect look. I know people are gonna be looking underneath the fenders and especially when you look at it and you're wondering how did something work and you can't tell how it's gonna work, but it is working. Like, like whether it's wiring related or mechanically related. Uh, and that's gonna let, make people either lay down on the ground and look at it, use mirrors, lights or whatever, or just ask the question, how did you make this work? And so yeah, it's definitely something the judges are gonna look at it, good guys, and just general public that's looking at it. A lot of times we have to go back and fix all that stuff first. We didn't have to do that from this one. So this one was uh, taken apart and just meticulously strip it and body work it. And we have to make it better than it was from the factory. So any little wiggle that it might have had from the factory can't have that wiggle now. Um, the edges and everything have to be perfect. All the seam seals have to be ground out and put new seam sealer in. All the edges, uh, the spot welds and stuff have to be cleaned up. Um, so it's just a, there wasn't really any major big thing on this. It was just the tension, just going back and making sure every single little bit of it was right.